an award-winning Halloween walkthrough attraction that is, you guessed it, actually haunted. With more reports of paranormal activity than ever, we're concerned that the spirits here are growing more powerful by the night. From mannequins moving on their own to real blood rituals taking place, this location's unlike anything that we've ever experienced before. So tonight, Mandy and I push our limits by taking turns to navigate these terrifying halls in the dark, alone. Why is that light coming on? That's the fucking motion sensor light. <gasps> it's doing it again! So without further ado, we bring to you All Saints Lunatic Asylum. Owners of All Saints Lunatic Asylum. You weren't even a believer in the paranormal. No, when not at all. First got this place. No, not at all. So what is it? What was that turning point? It, you know, years and years of constantly trying to justify things that were happening. As a scientist, you think, because I'm a scientist, and I think you've got to have proof. I've got to have proof. But there does also come a point where I need to at least be open to the fact that there are just things that need to be researched more. Over time, it just constantly things happening, voices, shadows, movement, things moving, things that are just not explainable. I have a, a quick question. Any of the employees here, has anybody just like quit on command or anything like that? Has, has this place actually scared employees from like working here or? Yeah, I mean, they haven't quit uh -huh. because of it, but we've had people that won't work in certain rooms. For example, the chapel is one that we have a hard time keeping people in. We had an employee here that was Wiccan and she did ceremonies in there. I don't know anything about that kind of stuff or what they did, but I know that there was some grave dirt and some blood and that kind of thing that was involved in the ceremony. Since then, that spot has been kind of a hot spot for a lot of paranormal. There might be a, um, like a doorway or some kind of opening that was created there from that ceremony. Mandy was here once before mm -hmm. and you witnessed a mannequin's head turn around by yeah. itself <laughs> that's crazy yeah and it wasn't even plugged in that's wild give us a sign of your presence do you like this symbol whoa whoa that just full-on moved bro oh my god it's moving it's full-on moving oh sh yeah um, did they turn it off I, that that is off that's supposed to be off you caught that right that <laughs> head <laughs> That chapel, it's crazy. So we always chalked it up to the coffin because the coffin is a used coffin. There was a funeral home in El Monte that went out of business. So they said, you know, come on over and get whatever you want. So we did and we just took everything. We even took the stained glass windows, big stained glass windows now in the chapel. Mm -hmm. um, we took their autopsy table, some things that probably, we didn't realize we just took like boxes of things and there was ashes, there was people's belongings the coffin will start knocking, you know, knocking from inside, which is really disconcerting. We actually, this is like a story that is so ridiculous to say. It sounds stupid when I say it, but we actually had a mannequin move. She moved from one spot to the other. And was when I came in in the morning and I looked at the cameras and uh, she was no longer in the position that she had been in when we left that night. She was in front of the coffin just standing there. A whole mannequin. The weirdest thing was somehow or the other the camera stopped filming at... I have like for maybe 20 minutes and when it came back on she was in front of the coffin so I, I don't know I don't know that much about <laughs> is that why she's nailed she's to yeah the wall yeah we screwed to, it to the, literally stop her from walking we didn't even do that right away I'd come in and and she would be like in a different position or kind of like or she'd fallen and be laying on the um you know one of the pews and so I just finally was like you know what you're um locking you down. We did that with another doll too that was in the doll room. Some of our actors would see this little doll in different places. They saw the doll, that I never saw this, but they actually saw the doll peeking around a corner. Which is, yeah. I, I would, <laughs> if I saw that, I would be so it... Sorry, I, mean, I laugh when I get nervous. I know, me too. Because we're, just, we're about to go yeah. in there all night. Like, and when I say it, it sounds so ridiculous. So it's like, I, I laugh because 
It sounds silly, but this is what I'm just telling you what happens. Yeah. It's funny because when you walk in there, you're going to see the dolls all screwed to the wall. And they are literally that way because of that little doll. That's another thing. The motion detectors will go off all night long. So it could be 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, and I'm getting a phone call from the police station that our alarm's going off because the motion sensor's going off. All the police know is... Now, I have to admit, they do love coming Whoa. here. They love to come in and... Yeah, that light was flickered. There's so much. There's shadow figures. We got... There's shadow figures. We got... Oh, what was that? Did something fall? It sounded like something fell. That's another thing, too, is you'll hear voices and you'll think you know who it is. Co-worker, family yeah. member, or something like that. Yeah, you'll hear voices, familiar voices. We had another paranormal investigation group come in here and because we were getting kind of freaked out. It wasn't fun anymore. It was kind of scary. We were coming in and, and things were getting a little more rough and stuff was falling and we were just beginning to feel really close, like, I don't know, closed in and yeah. watched and uncomfortable. And they came in and they said for sure what they discovered was that there's something that comes in that comes in and suppresses a lot of other energies in here. Two nights ago, I had a dream about this location. And that usually happens to me when I go to places, I'll have spirit visitations from the location prior to the investigation. The dream was, I was very much here in this building. I was using spirit box and over and over, I kept hearing, I'm trapped, we're trapped, we're trapped. Wow, yeah. And just <laughs> con con constantly mm -hmm. coming through the spirit box. The scene shifted and all of a sudden I was in my bed and there was a male standing at the edge of my bed and I couldn't move, I couldn't talk, Whoa. nothing. And finally I was able to get myself out of the dream and I was like, oh sh**. Like, Whoa. we have a suppression situation where spirits are feeling trapped. Mm -hmm. So what I'm picking up on is uh, masculine energy, let's just say masculine yeah. energy. I don't know what's going on with this energy, but it's been here for, it's been here for a while. Yeah. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. At first, when we first moved in, it was just little things, but I never felt uncomfortable. I never felt that heaviness. And then, I, you know, actually it was probably around the time that, that we started having some rituals done here and stuff that I think... That it opened. Yeah, yeah, that's probably when it all started. If a ritual was done here to open something up and it hasn't been closed down, it's, it's just constantly open. So that allows the energies to come in and out, in and out, in and out. Anybody can come in and out whenever they feel like it, including this heavier energy, you know? Which so. I mean was, it, that was almost, I think, her intention was to, yeah. to let us have that and have it like a safe place where energy could be and feel. Which is great. Yeah. But at the same time, there's, you know, it's a double-edged sword because what comes with good comes with yeah. The other aspect of that, right? Maybe she could keep the dark energy gone, you know, keep mm -hmm. it at bay, and now she's gone, and we don't really know what we're doing here, so. All right, guys, you guessed it. We are in the All Saints Lunatic Asylum. It's a haunted house here. Me and Mandy are so excited to get this investigation started. We've been here for a few hours now, and it feels like there's been a massive buildup in energy. So I'm actually in the control room with Christy right now. Hi. And she is going to be watching myself and Mandy on these screens right behind us. They're also actually motion activated, so if any motion is in a certain room, then she's gonna let us know about it. Oh, look, I can see Mandy right now. Yeah, and see how it's like there's a little green, a little green thing at the top that yeah. means that there's motion. Gotcha. But usually like there'll be a little running man, like that little running man, that shouldn't be on. And then over here we've got three running men. See the little running man at the top corner? Those yeah. shouldn't be on either. So wow, that means okay. something's moving in there. And here too, that's the hallway. Okay, so there's already just random motion activity. All right, so Christy has her walkie. I'm gonna go grab Mandy and we're gonna get this investigation started. Do you have any words for us before we start? Uh, just holler if you need us. Okay, sounds good. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> So, what room is this? The Like, this isn't the doll room. No, this is the nursery. The nursery. 
They had to screw that picture into the yeah, wall. because it kept flying off. <laughs> they would put it back up and then they'd come in and it would be on the ground. We have to kind of like walk through the haunted house here a little bit to actually get to where I want to begin. And that is going to be just making sure <laughs> the only light we have are these camera lights just now. Huh. I just heard like, like a girl's voice. It was like right here. Oh my God, was it you? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I swear her, it was like a, I don't even know how to recreate it, but it was like a little girl. That's know. so crazy. We've literally just walked into one room. I swear I heard a voice. You know what's actually really creepy? You can't see this on screen right now, but the screen that I'm looking on, it's picking up, like focusing on all of these dolls' faces like they're people. <laughs> it's making me nervous. Was that you that I heard? That was weird. It sounded like a man just came through. Yeah. I definitely heard a female voice. Yeah, like a little girl, yeah? Mm -hmm. Are you... What age are you? We have barely even walked... What... No, stop it. Oh. I was literally just about to introduce myself, Mandy. Can you say her name? It said, Mandy. It, said, it totally said my it name. It was a man though yeah. that said Mandy. Doll. Or I'm going to go up to these other dolls here and you tell me when to stop, okay? What doll is it that you want me to focus in on? This one? You just need to shout stop. Tell us when to stop when she gets to the doll that we're supposed to find. Can you say... That's it. It said that's it, I swear. Okay, I'm gonna put my back to Mandy and Mandy's gonna turn around. And I want you to tell me what part of the doll I'm touching. So we know that you're here with us, okay? Okay. What part of the doll am I touching right now? Mandy, it just said nose. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was so oh my fast. God. It's a nose. Are you in the doll or? You know what I've just realized? I'm touching the doll that's right where the photo is that kept on falling off the wall and getting shattered. Dude, what the fuck? Where do you see? Dude, I don't know. That was weird. As you were talking about that, it felt like somebody was just like right here. Watching you? Yeah, mm. like standing right there. Ooh. That was so clear. I mean, I can't yeah, even. Yeah, that was really cool. Why this doll? Why this picture? What don't you like about it? Are you unhappy because you didn't have a family? Like in this photo, is that why you're mad and throwing the picture off the wall? Yeah. Sound like you said yeah. That's the vibe that I'm picking up on, Mandy. Like, why else would it be mad at a photo of a family? Right? Okay, so tell me this. That's what I just saw. An or like a an, an orb like right yeah here. I didn't Not know if that nothing it was like I saw it in my camera something in my camera yeah, but I don't know what it totally was just passed through right here are you going to go touch the REM pod can you tell us who you are now that you've established that you're here with us can you tell us your name. Jeez. I know, dude. I heard that, but it was it didn't sound nice. I didn't ask for my name. I was asking for your name. Is your name Jade? I want you to go up to the device. Huh. 
What? Did you say something? No. What? No, I was looking over there. No, I, I sh Dude. I swear I didn't say anything. Okay, let's turn this off because I f what the actual f Okay. Okay, that was freaking weird. No, I did not say anything. I swear to God, I heard you say like something like, wait, no, like that. And then that's why I was like, what? Like, what? Like, no. Whoa. But you know what's really weird is that Christy says she that you hear that. people like that That's you right. know. Yeah, I swear, sounds, yeah. Mandy, it was you. It was a thousand percent oh, you. It's already happening. I wonder if my camera picked up on that. I really freaking hope it did. Yeah, I didn't hear anything. I literally turned for some reason to look this way. Okay. If that wasn't Mandy, then who did I just hear? Can you do it again? Do you talk out loud? What are you feeling right now? Right, I cannot get over the energy that's over in that hallway. It's weird, I feel like we're being, I feel like they're already trying to separate us because I'm feeling drawn to go there and it's like they're talking to you here. I'm not hearing anything. But then again, I wanted to go down that hallway and then you heard that voice, so exactly. then you stopped. It's like, so it's like, weird dude. Like what is happening? Well, if there is somebody that's in this room with us, we're going to continue going through the haunted house. But feel free to join us. You're more than welcome to join us. Also, I had a good, like, internal laugh about... I didn't realize she was holding the K2 <laughs> until you started asking questions, and I was like, don't bust out laughing right now. Look at this bitch. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> She's holding that K2. Uh, there okay. we go. No, there's no readings coming off of this photo. Did I just say turn it off? Yeah. Turn it off, you don't like it? Please! Please! <laughs> Mandy, don't do that! I'm so okay. <laughs> I will turn it off right now. Okay, bye. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Are you scared Dude, me? Dude, that, please. Are you kidding that me? Was that was straight up. Turn like, it off, please. The vocal tone in that, it was, oh my lord. Okay, so we, we do want to be respectful <laughs> to you here. Sorry, we got a little bit scared there for a second, but really awesome job communicating with us. Who's in there? Oh, oh my god, <laughs> Richard. Uh, <laughs> What? I didn't know they were this close. I'm leaving now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye, Richard. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. I can't. <laughs> Sorry. All right, you guys. Have fun. It just said ready. Ashes. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. The thing just said ashes. Oh, my God. It's now just me, Mandy, and Christy in this building by ourselves. And I'm walking down a very spooky corridor right now, and I'm very, very nervous. Ashes just came through the ovulus, so we know exactly where there's ashes. Remember, this is so like this is the room where the rituals were performed. So it's a cluster of energy in here. It's yeah. very disorienting, mm -hmm. especially if it's been left open. Ready and ashes came through the ovulus, and where are there actual human remains? right in here so are these your remains do you like being here it just said ear take ear but look what's over here look body parts okay this is kind of weird it almost seems like it wants us to go into like the cannibal room now Right. Dude, it was like doll, and then it was like ashes, and then it's literally it's leading, leading us, us through. through the house. What the f I guess now let's head over to the cannibal ear place. I don't, I don't, where is that? It's beyond the uh, chapel. We have to go through the chapel first. Dude, no. I'm yeah. so sorry. What? <gasps> what? I need to sit down for a sec. Wait. Oh my god. No, Mandy, don't. No. Oh, dude. When I say that there was somebody looking back at me in that 
that mannequin right there. This when one? I see that there was an actual being looking back at me through that thing's eyes. I have never experienced that in my entire life. In, in this one? Yes. That is the one that she says actually moves by itself. Can you turn and look towards us? Just follow my voice and move that mannequin. Are you trying to scare Mandy? Like a living being. Like, like a, not even like, not even like a spirit encompassing a doll. Like an, like an actual, actual being. being looking back at me. Like as if a human was, if that was a real human. Is there a spirit here that likes this mannequin in particular? If there is, you can come up to this black box that I'm holding in my hand. I swear to God, that was so weird. I, I thought I heard like a shh evil. come from over here. Um, evil. Um, evil. Yeah, I cannot believe it that this is legitimately leading us through the haunted house. That's I feel like insane. We're actually, like, I'm just waiting for somebody to pop out. <laughs> so crazy. Yeah, this is gives me the creeps walking through here. Uh oh. <laughs> I was like, are we walking? No. So these are pools, just in case you're wondering. Oh my god, dude. I can't even like this room. Hi, everybody. Hi. I'm Mandy. This is Jade. We are just passing through right now. We will be back. Right now, we just want to check out this uh, kitchen. Oh, uh, just said assault. Assault? Off. Dude, off. Dude, something was moving. No, we don't need any assault. It said assault often. I wonder if somebody's trying to share their story. You know, <gasps> I wonder if somebody's trying to share their story. You know, <gasps> what? What the fuck? What? Oh my god, I, my god, dude. What the just oh my god. Mandy, talk, I please. Can't, I can't, dude. There was a fucking voice right in my ear, and it was like, oh, oh my that, god. I left I you hope. in this room. I started walking down oh, here. I hope I caught that on my camera. Dude, I'm actually shaking right now. I can't walk through here. I'm scared. I'm shaking. Okay, we're coming into the butcher's. There are a lot of ears, ears, ears. Oh, ears. Yeah, right? That's an ear muffin. Okay, I took the ear. What do I do with it? Turn. Just a turn on my obelisk. Turn? Oh. Turn where? What direction do you want us to go? It says you, opening. It wants you to open a portal? I think so. Mandy, look behind you. Oh my god. Speak it. Okay. Sorry, that was such a <laughs> big okay. it. They left me here, here in this dark hole. No light, no light, no light. A thin, silver, blinding, no sounds, just the blindness. And then the smell. Something nice, edible. Some liquid for a dry throat, edible. Smells, I'm alone, forgotten. Wait, wait, light, lights. All around me, friends? Yes, yes, they speak to me. Friends, my friends, my friends. Okay, that yes. Is so weird. Did you know what it said though? Mandy, this no. is freaking weird. It said, eat, eat. It said, ear, we've oh picked gosh. up a muffin. It's saying, no light, no light. We need to go into complete darkness now. And then it said, wait, wait. We need That's one. weird. It's saying no light. This is bizarre. It also said liquid though. We don't have any liquids. Why do I feel like I'm about to participate in a f***ing ritual? It did say open, like the portal, and then you've said that and it's like, so is this what we're bringing to open the portal? It's a flat 
What? We're talking about things we need for this ritual, and it just said flower rose. This is wild, Mandy. Like, I actually can't. And then it says stick. This is the second time that it said stick. So we need... Like, to... it's asking us to participate... In a ritual. In a ritual. It wants the ritual. Should we bring a rose? Should we grab a rose? We should grab a rose. We also need a stick. I know where there's sticks. I stepped on a stick earlier. You did step <laughs> on a stick. Okay, okay. We're going to gather all these items because okay. they want it. So we'll grab a rose... We'll go to grab a stick. Then it says, it also says barrel. Um, look what's next to the barrel. <laughs> Roses. <laughs> this is a bucket. Bucket, but still close enough. Found. Seriously, it just said found. found. Okay, well, Okay, so this is it. We just find rosies right here. Do I take them all? Mm-hmm. Stick, we need Which a is... stick. These are the sticks that I stepped I'll on earlier. Liquid. My light battery is getting low. Oh my oh, god. Which way do you? You're not going to believe what's happening right now. It's so bizarre. Now, I hope if, okay. if I see you guys in there like starting to float or doing like some kind of so ceremony that you're in a trance, I'll come and break it up. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> Get you to do some crazy Blair Witch stuff. <laughs> Will happen. Oh, it just will, said will happen? It just will said will happen. happen. No, happen. it didn't. I have Are you serious? Huge. Will happen. Oh my god. Oh well. Okay. I've got goosebumps oh after right. that. It just said knife again. We need a knife, dude. It, remember, it, it said sharp. It freaking cut us. Yeah. Oh. It wants us to cut us and use our blood. And I know that that sounds insane, but Christy literally just said that the co-workers who'd done these rituals use were use it, like cutting themselves and using their blood and putting it in the cauldron. That's right. Yeah. That's why it's say knife. Yeah, I think maybe let's just bring like a fake knife. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, there's some in the kitchen. There might be one in the chapel. I honestly, this is probably one of the most intelligent spirits that I've ever encountered. It sent us on an entire scavenger hunt around this place and <sighs> quest. You said that quest came it through. Came this through. was off camera, but quest did come through right as we started this investigation. And that's exactly what's happening, Mandy. It's sending us on a freaking quest. We are... We are going on an adventure. Found Ow. the knife. Oh, boy. We found all of the items that you've requested. We're about to go ahead and put the spirit box on. And we want to know who it is we're talking to and why you want us to do this ritual. Me. Did you want Mandy to open a portal? Or did you want Mandy to do a ritual? Whoa. Whoa. I heard that. That was a bang. That was really loud. Oh, there's another room here? Yeah. This is where it came from. When do you want Mandy to do the ritual? Tonight. Why do you need a ritual done? How do we do it? It sounded like somebody said easy. This was not my plan for the investigation tonight. You're not telling us who you are or why you want us to do this ritual. If you don't tell us who you are, then we're not going to do the ritual. So what's your name? Is it safe to do this ritual? Don't. Sally like said don't. Why don't you want us to do this ritual? You. What about me? Did you want our blood? They left me here, here in this dark hole, no light. So that's kind of when we should turn our lights off. A thin silver blinding, a thin silver, which would be the knife. Yeah. Blinding. Maybe they want us to be in the dark so we can't yeah. see. Yeah. And then the smell. And that's what the frickin' rosies are for. Something nice edible. 
which is the muffin. Yeah. Friends, yes, yes, they speak to me. Friends, my friends, my. Okay, three, two, one. We turned off the light. We have no sound. We brought you your offerings. Now can you do something for us? Hold on. Huh. Sorry. Somebody's approaching. Come in the room with us. Do you feed off our fear? Do you need regular rituals? Do you want me to turn on spirit box? Yeah. It just got like burning hot all of a sudden as well. I don't know if you've been you're feeling that, but <gasps> It's very freaking hot all of a sudden. I've not felt that. Nobody wants to talk now? Nobody wants to come through? You just sent us on literally the biggest mission ever. Doing nothing. Okay, I'm gonna turn the light back on. Don't. Don't. Okay, then if you want it dark in here, then you're going to have to communicate with us through this box Mandy's holding. Do we have all the object? <gasps> Ow! F damn it! It's so dark in here! Why is my light not working, Mandy? Did you hear that? <laughs> no! Ooh. I can't move. I'm... Well, at the actual... Man, do like act like what? Something literally, it felt like something was right in my left ear, dude. That's where I heard it in the chapel, my left ear. Oh, but it sounded oh. like that shh and again. You know what? I felt like they weren't talking because that thing is here and it's keeping them from talking. And then all of a sudden, you felt I don't freaking know what's going on, Mandy. Like, I actually, I, don't think, I think it said don't turn on the light because that thing that suppresses this masculine energy that suppresses the other spirits. It lurks in the shadows, right? And so when it's dark, we can't see it coming. Am I right? Are we right about this? Are you the heavy spirit that people feel here? He's not gonna talk. I think we need to move on. Yeah. We've been at this for okay. the entire investigation. I don't know what this was about, Mandy. It was the most intelligent responses that I think I've ever really experienced on an investigation. And then we get here and then nothing. Apart from when we turned the light off and obviously like something came, something sn snuck up on us. Here's what I know. This thing knows that I have the ability to send it away. We were led here by the, the good spirits, the great spirits that are here. Yeah. We were led here by them to do a ritual to try and push him out. Yes. And the second we turned the lights off, they probably all took a step back, so we were super unprotected. Yeah. He came right into our space, but we don't know how to do the ritual. They think that we know how to do the ritual. Like Chrissy even said, we're the only females that have came here and investigated. Oh boy, he is angry. Oh my god. Mandy, yeah, don't. That's I'm sorry, me. I'm feeling his energy right now. And it's oh, because we just figured it boy, out. I'm like, see my hands? I'm like... That's like, the reason why they think that we know how to do the ritual and we don't. I know how to remove, but it's not this. It's different than how she would do it. Yeah. Um, no, that's exactly what I said. I mean, that's exactly what's happening. Now I'm intrigued. Like, who, how bad is this thing, really? I think if we are going to talk to him, it's going to be in the chapel. Fuck, dude. Let's leave this stuff just now. We'll head to the chapel and see if he's in there. Hey. Oh, hey. Hey, hi. Hi. Hello. What's up? Hello, gather ashes. It's gather. <laughs> well, we're literally having a gathering. It's, it's a, a gather funeral. ashes. Yeah, we're not going to disrupt the ashes that are in a completely different room. Um, but we will gather here with you if you're, if you're here with us. If mannequins can walk in here, if mannequins can turn their heads in here, if coffins can move on their own. I would love to see you just even go over to a REM pod. It's those devices that we've set up. There's one on top of the coffin 
and there's one over there by that mannequin. I just want you to, to let me know right now that there's somebody here with us, intelligent enough that's actually going to communicate with us whilst we're here, because we're about to do a digital recorder session, because we want to hear your voice. But first we've got to make sure that you're actually here with us. Can you light up one of the devices that we've put around the room? There's a little tap in that back it's corner. Me. It's the chair I'm sitting in. It's the chair? The, the pew. I felt something, like as if somebody was like sitting down. Is there somebody next to Mandy right now? Whoa, yeah, I heard that. Whoa. Good job. Recording. Are there any spirits here that want us to banish anything heavy, dark? Is there a spirit in one of these mannequins? Can somebody tell me what this masculine energy is? The activity that happens in this room, is that because of this object right here, the coffin? Do you feed off of people's fear that come through here? Do you want to scare us right now? What happens if we complete the ritual? Nothing. Nothing. It just said Anthony got homicide. Anthony got homicide. So somebody was murdered. Debbie. It says homicide. I think she was stabbed Debbie. to the death. I'm being shown that somebody saw that she was pregnant and stabbed her to death. Like somebody crazy. <gasps> oh my god. Pregnant and stabbed her to death like somebody crazy. <gasps> oh my god. That thing has not went off. It said feeling candle. I think that was an acknowledgement mm -hmm. that she was. Oh my god, my pew is like moving. Like I can't explain it. Um, it sounded like you said pube. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Debbie. Okay. If you're here with us, can you please go ahead and touch that device again? You just touched it. Amazing job. Oh my god. Huh. Oh, dude, it is so cold right here. I'm roasting. It must just be where you're at. This woman was fucking stabbed. Like, she was stabbed repeatedly, repeatedly. Like... Justice just came through. Is that what you want? Is that what you're searching for? You're seeking justice? Honestly, like this is I, I'm just seeing somebody that like she didn't know. Like this was a random total attack. Random. This is a total random attack on oh, my chest. Are you okay? Did you want yeah, to step out? No, or? it's okay. I, I'm just I'm seeing so many things. It says living. Yeah, the killer's still out there. The person who hurt her's still out there. Feel seat. Is that what it says? It says feel seat. <laughs> no way. I've literally been talking this whole time about feeling like somebody's sitting in the pew with me. Oh. Huh. Oh shit. It started going off again. Okay. Is that what you wanted us to clear your space for you? So you can sit on the pew? We also have another device that's actually on top of it right there. The one with the red light. Is it laying up? Oh my god, every single time I turn away, that lights up. It wants you by yourself. Help. British. Is it help, British? <laughs> <laughs> if you need me to help you, you're gonna have to light one of these devices up. For, as confirmation that you want me to help you. Can you touch this one? Just go up to it like this. It will light it up like that. What was what? that? What? I just heard 
that same thing just oh, oh my god dude you scare me so much dude, when you do that it's going off yeah there's still a lot of questions to be answered there definitely is that's for sure okay Ooh. Okay. Sorry. Well, we were working in what is the chapel now. At the time, it was the cemetery, and we heard like a whole lot of noise. And we, because you know the windows are blocked up, so we couldn't see, and we didn't have the cameras yet. But then, um, like an ambulance came. It was it was like three hours, and we heard all kinds. There was a woman screaming at one point, like right in front of our door. And we were like, "What do we do?" But we just kept working. We didn't really think too much about it. And then we went out after it was all over. Like an ambulance came and then left, but they weren't like in a hurry. And when they left, we came out and there was just blood all over. Dude. All over in front of the door. And we were like, um... And somebody says something about a pregnant woman. I don't know. Because we Whoa. were asking next door, we were like, what's going on? They were like, well, a pregnant woman. All we know is there was like a pregnant woman. And... That's... Like, yeah. Uh, that happened right in front of the chapel. I never even put that together. That was when we first, when we were still building the cemetery. We hadn't even opened yet. And that was like, and that's pretty much what you were picking up on. Okay, it is that time of night and this is something that we really don't want to do, but I feel like it has to be done. We're basically going to take turns walking through the maze by ourselves in the pitch dark. When we were walking out of here earlier, Mandy actually got tucked, almost like something was pulling her back and wanted her back in. Huh. What is it? I felt like somebody like pulled my shirt. Just like grabbed you to like yeah. pull you back? Like my sleeve, like pulled my sleeve and I didn't get caught on. There's nothing to get caught on. So that's why we're gonna send Mandy in first. And me and Christy are gonna be in nerve center and we're gonna be watching from the cameras. Mandy is going back to the chapel to conquer what is there because we definitely need more answers. That is the one specific room that the owners have actually asked us to, to get more answers to. So it just makes sense. You need to do this. You need to do it for the club, man. This is your initiation. <laughs> Not like I've put you through enough. <laughs> If you don't keep me after this, <laughs> okay. I'll find you. <laughs> Down the hallway she goes. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Have fun. No, there's no way. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my that god. That was your bye bye. <laughs> Dude, what? No, wait. wait. So you wait. not even made it three wait. feet. <laughs> oh. It's so dark, Jade. Turn off your light and tell me that this isn't just like the worst thing that's ever happened, okay? <laughs> see? You see what I'm saying, Jade? Look at me go. Look at me go by myself with my new shoes. <laughs> new shoe groove and- <laughs> You're so, you're so nervous. You're so nervous you don't even know what you're saying. Okay, bye. <laughs> Like, <laughs> okay. I actually had to like run out to like, or she was never gonna let me uh, <laughs> leave her. It's scary, I'm telling you, I know. Where even is she on the camera? Oh, she has her freaking flashlight on. Hello? There's already like, Noises and shit happening. <gasps> I swear, I just heard a voice. I haven't even gotten anywhere by myself yet. Hey girl, no flashlight. No. No, dude, I fucking heard a voice already. No, no, no. <laughs> Okay, okay, you're good. All by myself, all by myself. Oh my God, dude. First off, I'm in the room where the rituals were conducted. So that's exciting. I wish you guys could feel the energy. The energy in here, it's like just static right now. And I know I'm scared and I'm nervous, but there's just a lot of static. Just watching Mandy go through this by herself <laughs> is just insane. My goal 
is to get through this and to go to the chapel. And that's where I'm going. I'm supposed to be doing this in complete darkness. That is not happening. There's so many cameras back here. We're gonna keep an eye on all of them. See if we pick up anything or if there's any um, motion in a room that Mandy's actually not in. She, she should be, yeah, right here. And yeah, it'll be next to it and then it'll move over to the next. I'm so scared. I can't even get through this door. Ow. Okay, I did it. I'm here to get answers. I'm here to get answers. What? I wonder if she's hearing something behind her. Oh, that's actually shaking. Dude, I heard a voice. aggressive. I feel like she's gonna use humor to uh, get herself through yeah. this. All right, I made it to the morgue. We're at the morgue now. This is where Jade is gonna post up. Look at that guy. He's cool. Okay, this is cool. Okay, so now she's entering the morgue. Oh, did you see that camera glitch? Yeah, that was weird. Look at this nice little table here with this body. That's cool. Oh, look, a knife. I don't like that. I don't like that. What's okay. happening? Why is that light coming on? What is that light? That's the motion sensor That's the light. That's the fucking motion sensor light. <gasps> it's doing it again. Something's triggering it. I felt like somebody was coming. I was like, "That's aggressive," because those. Those door flappy things were just like, I went through it and then it like aggressively moved as if like somebody was coming behind me. Yeah, somebody's <laughs> coming behind you because look, it's doing it again. Oh my God, did she just scream? Are you okay? What was that sound? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just having, um, okay, it's doing it again. I'm just having a moment. Okay, Mandy, the strobe light that's on sensor <gasps> is just constantly going off. What sensor? The motion sensor with the light? The strobe light that keeps on going off when we've been walking through, that is just going off constantly. There's nobody in there. I've never Stop, seen that. Dude, I can't move. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before. Christy says she's never seen it before. There's nothing in there moving. There's nothing that would be setting it off. Her light can't be triggering it. No, she's not even at that part. Okay, I'm actually like freaking out. You just let me know if you need me to come in there, like if it gets too much, but it's, it's stopped now. Oh my God, and you got it on film. You got it on film. She's still in the mark. Okay. I have to keep moving. I have a job to do. Hello. Hi. Hi, everyone. I made it to the chapel. I just saw a flash. What's channel two? That's the hallway. That's the long hallway after you leave the nursery. Oh, wow. Okay, so I just saw a flash and it's got motion coming out. Yeah, the little motion bands on there. So mm. when that green motion comes on, that means that there's motion in that hallway. Mm -hmm. That's the hallway that I like left her in. And now it's off. She's going to spend a little time in the chapel, just asking some questions and like trying to get to the bottom of things. Um, what's bizarre is like those flashing lights. It was going off continuously. That was so weird. And it's not went off for the past like few no, minutes. It's done now. And it was when she said she heard it felt like someone was in there with her. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that before. I'm so glad you got it on film because no one would believe that. I thought she was honestly going to leave at that point, but she's she's a trooper. She's yeah, she sticking is. it out. Oh yeah. I just heard something moving along this wall. I also swear I thought I saw something over there. It's happening already. So I'm going to turn on Spirit Box and just, I don't have a game plan. 
I'm just gonna go with it. Did it just say Jade again? Dude. It, it just said Jade again. Jade, I just want you to know it said your name. It did not. It said Jade? What? Tell him I'll be in soon. <laughs> who, who just stepped in this room right now? Me. Who's me? What's happening in here? What? So scared, yeah. 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 Who just made that REM pod go off? Did the ritual that happened here, did that out? What? Did that ritual open up a doorway. Mirror. mirror. What about the mirror? It's like somebody wants to give me the answers and then there's another person that doesn't want me to have the answers. Did the ritual open up something in this building? Get out. I cannot leave until I have answers. enough. Who is this heavier energy? Me. It just keeps saying me over and over. It's not, it doesn't want to be known. Run. Oh my god. Um. Oh my god. <gasps> Yo, there was somebody like. There's somebody walking around in here, I'm telling you. So I'm gonna message Jade. I feel really sick. I'm gonna try to get out of here. Hey, Jade. Jade. Hold on one second, I'm turning my camera on. What's going on? I'm sorry, you have your camera off? <laughs> There's a lot of movement in this room right now. Um, so, oh boy. Well, <laughs> that man can start scooting towards her, just get out of there. <laughs> Tears away from the wall, it starts coming, just go. I need all the <laughs> laughter right now because I know I'm up next. <laughs> oh, no. I only have one more favor to ask of you. Can you make it all the way to the end where that spiral writing is on the wall and then turn around and come back? Is she thinking about yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was thinking about that. <laughs> If yeah. I get taken, though, by this thing that is now mad at me. Oh. Oh. You owe me. She's in the kitchen. Something did not like me talking about that. <gasps> I just heard what sounded like a swishing noise, like a... <sighs> oh, look at all them orbs coming from the, um the chapel. Okay, I just missed it. My camera just missed it, but there was motion in the chapel there. There was a ton of orbs that just went by, like a ton. Like somebody just blew dust off of like the top shelf. And the air conditioner's not on. It's almost like it followed her again. <laughs> you know, it's like she walked out of the chapel and there's like a whole bunch of... So it's interesting to see when she takes her chair. Like, oh, look, there's a... The motion in the chapel again. Why is that a thing? She is nowhere near the chapel. 
I can't figure out why there's always... Yeah, that's weird. Look, again. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet because, you know, why would I be done, right? If there's anyone in here, I have a digital recorder. You can talk directly to it. It is voice activated, so I will be able to hear you if you do talk into it, okay? Can somebody tell me if I'm right or wrong about what is happening in the chapel? Look, look at the camera. Whoa! Did you see that? Look, look at the camera. Whoa! Did you see that? Oh, that was like a glowing ball of light that was in the dark hallway leading up to the chapel. But yeah, look, the motion signs on. Were you asking us to perform a ritual to help remove a heavier suppressive energy? Oh, there's another one. That's what, I wonder if that's what the little green man's picking up. What is your favorite part of this building to scare people in? Motion in the chapel again. Whoa, orbs going down that dark hallway that lead up to the chapel. Both of the motion sensors are on. This is so weird. We've not seen any dust or anything like that on the cameras until right now. And Mandy is over by the ritual area. Whoa. Okay, stopping. Nothing. I think that's my cue. It's time to swap out. I'm gonna leave here and Jade's gonna come in and we're gonna see what she picks up on. It's gonna be fun. <gasps> no. Just as I'm about to leave, the motion sensor light goes off. As if somebody's in here. Mind you, I'm flashing the flashlight. No motion sensor lights going off. It just went off. Jade's gonna come through, so you're gonna wanna meet her in the morgue. Sorry, Jade. I'm done. I was just about to leave. The motion sensor light went off. So I'm gonna head back now. She's saying bye. Oh my goodness, she didn't trigger it. She didn't even trigger it. She did, exactly. <laughs> Isn't that insane? She literally didn't even trigger the strobe light when she walked by Herself, there. and she went right by it. Okay. <laughs> Why are you nervous? <laughs> this is terrifying. I am in the pitch, pitch dark. The only thing that I can see is my screen right now. I can't even remember where it go. Oh my god, my heart is absolutely pounding. All right, so she made it to the dolls already? Yeah. Wow. Why do I do this to myself? Oh, why? Why, why? See, the running man just came up. <gasps> oh. Yeah, it's really weird. She's doing it without the flashlight. She's so brave. Yeah. My heart is beating so freaking fast. So this is the corner where, yeah, the flashing light. So this is the room, this is what was going off when Mandy was in here by herself. <laughs> where am I? <laughs> okay, she's doing it. Oh. This is the morgue. Okay, so I get to put my flashlight on now. Thank God. Okay, wow. So the morgue is where I'm going to be focusing the investigation right now. These are all legitimate stretchers used in a morgue. And this is a real embalming table. Hey, look, there's something floating Oh, there head. is. Look at that. Whoa, oh. that was weird. Hey, look, there's something floating Oh, there head. is. Look at that. Whoa, oh. that was weird. Should I tell her? Do you think I'll scare her? I don't know. <gasps> Running man think? motion. Yep, there he goes. It's still really dark in here. All I have is this very dimly lit 
Oh, shit. Yeah, go for Jade. Um, probably about a minute ago, there was a large black kind of just like floating above your head um, and then it disappeared and it floated for like, I don't know, maybe like 10, suspended for like five or seconds okay. and then it went away. What is this feedback I'm getting? I'm shitting myself right now, Nancy. <laughs> if there's any investigation that I actually passed out on, it's gonna be this one. There it is again. There it is again. Is that the, is that a reflection from her? Look. Is that a is reflection that? from her camera though? Okay, I'm gonna put the REM pod back on just so you know. It might be a reflection from her camera. Is it? Let's I don't know what's happening. What's that? I don't know. No, because she it's not doing it. It did it again. What is that? I've okay, never seen okay, that. hold on. No, it's not doing it. She's moved all over the place and it's not doing it. See? It would have picked it up at some point here. She's moved the camera all over the place. Can you go over to that device there or any of the other devices that I've just set up? And something oh. just flew by the camera. Yeah, that was a big one. Can you touch one of them? Can you knock it over? Can you light one of them up? Shh, just came through. That's so weird because I've now heard shoosh like three times. This is the first time that it's actually physically came up on a device. Whoever's here doesn't want me talking. Is that right? Do you not like it when I talk? Is it something about the accent or... If you want Mandy to come back down here by herself, can you please set one of these devices off? If it's not me that you want to talk to, because I've heard shush now three times. And it doesn't sound like somebody wants to talk to me, but at the same time my name keeps on coming through the spirit box. I don't understand. You asked for help earlier. You said British and help. Or somebody did. I felt like I just saw something in that, the room below. That's weird. There was a knock. I feel like there's just somebody hanging out in that hallway and it's mm -hmm. just like constant, you know? And back here. That is the hallway where like that flashing strobe light keeps on going off. It says ran. It says ran. I want it, whoever that was communicating with Mandy earlier to come through into this room with me. And can you please make your presence known? Not trying to be like super morbid, but <laughs> it is quite literally dead in here. Are you gonna push all the way, walk to the end and come back? Yeah, I'm just gonna turn around and, and try the doll room. Okay, yeah, we'll come meet you at the ritual center and finish it out. Sounds good. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Girl, I had to go all the way to the end. What the heck, man? <laughs> she had to go all the way I know, she the... cheated me out. Look she at that. She's like, no, wait, wait. I need you to but you know what? Paper. I will give her props. She did it without a, yeah. she did a flashlight a for the most part. So, <laughs> how you doing? Mm. You know, I'm doing all right. It was very quiet in there. Nothing. I heard one knock in the hallway mm. and that was it. Okay. I don't think, I think it was pretty apparent that whatever was here needed to talk to you and they've been, I just feel like you've been feeling it so much more. A thousand percent think that this place is haunted. Oh, for sure. But they, they see you as a like antenna and they're yeah. gravitating mm -hmm. towards you. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Let's just go in to uh, the room where the rituals were performed. Okay. And, and then you can tell us about what happened in the chapel because I haven't even heard yet. Okay, so what happens? What I feel is happening is that so many people are talking about the chapel. It's literally feeding energy into that room. Mm -hmm. And what do spirits do with energy? They feed off of it, mm -hmm. right? And so the more that we keep 
talking about the chapel, the more energy it has. And now you've got like a breeding ground of energy for any spirit to take from. And so that's why every time we were in there, it just seemed chaotic. There was all these like weird responses. It's like the meeting ground for spirits because mm -hmm. there's so much energy in there. It's their headquarters. It's their headquarters. I was like, it's literally the place that all spirits, both good, good and not good, can come, gather some energy, feed off of what's going on in totally. there. Totally. Because, I mean, most people, right, they walk in and they're instantly nervous because mm -hmm. it's like, it's the chapel. And so they're, whoa, dude, I, oh my God, I just saw a black mass. It was a black ball, like this big, and it just like went behind the fireplace thing here. It blocked out the white of that cabinet door, the closet door, and it went that way towards the dolls. It went towards the dolls The dolls, uh-huh. Dude, that was big. This this heavy, this darkness to me, it, it's it's not, it, it doesn't take true human form, but it has been human before. Whenever I feel like I encounter something like that, that means that it's been here for a long time. Oh. Yeah, I just heard yeah, that. Yeah, I heard that too. I feel that this energy has transformed over time, but it definitely was a human at one point. Wow, and okay. that's big. This is a spirit that's been here for a long period of time. And when I say long period of time, I mean even before this building was a building. This spirit has been here first. All the other spirits that are coming in, those are probably the ones that were kind of like summoned through by the rituals and the, the dirt or the graves and stuff or like that. Attached to things. Attached to things, yeah. exactly. All, yeah, which it's like you don't even factor in all the mm -hmm. antiques in here that yeah. have brought stuff. You know, like the ashes. I mean, ashes came through like 6,000 times yeah. tonight. Like we were talking earlier, so you think he's feeding off the fear. You can't find a better place. So yeah, if you come and do the asylum yourself, then you might actually bump into the spirit. But as far as like names and stuff like that, we don't have a name for him or anything, mm -hmm. do we? No, he's a complete mystery. If you're willing to have us back again sometime oh, in the future, yeah. we would be more than happy to come back and get a few more answers. Right now, I will say that this has been one of the more funner investigations that I've ever done. Is funner a word? It is now. Yes. It is now. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. We're making it one. We <laughs> call it funnest. <laughs> it is the, one of the funnest investigations that I've done. And as Mandy said, I don't think that this is like a dark dark like really intense entity that's gonna like mess with you guys to the point of like we can't do this anymore you know you're still gonna own your business you're still gonna you're still it's not gonna affect that in any way if anything you guys are gonna thrive because he's thriving off you guys bringing people here <laughs> yeah so um nothing that i would be too worried about but gosh if you're looking for a good bit of chaos this is the place I've thoroughly enjoyed the investigation here tonight and I hope you guys did too. That being said, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. You know that it helps this channel out so much and we want to keep making these investigations for you. So yes, have a good night guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye. If you enjoyed tonight's episode, then you'll be happy to hear that we're going to return to All Saints Lunatic Asylum on November 18th for a live stream investigation, where you can join in from the comfort of your home while Mandy and I lose our shit all over again. More information to come on that soon, but stick around and we'll see you there.